What is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video. As you can see by the surroundings around me, um, I'm in my living room and I'm doing something very different. Today we're going to be unboxing uh, my brand new PC that I've just ordered uh, for PC case gear. Not a sponsored video or anything like that, but um, yeah, I just thought since this is like a pretty a pretty big purchase and a pretty, pretty big deal for me personally, um, this is really just going to be like the the backbone of my, my videos from here on in since I do gaming videos. So I've got two pretty big packages behind me. Um, going to go unbox those now. Just bear in mind I am not by any means a tech reviewer or like any professional unboxing person. This is just me with a camera on a tripod just showing you guys um, what's to come with the channel. So I'll get the things um, and uh, we'll get going. So yeah, like I said, this is going to be unprofessional AF but we are going to open the box like this I don't have any like professional you know cutting utensils you know I just have the knife so we'll make do with uh, what we've got so the build itself is uh, a Ryzen 7 1800X that's the CPU I'll get that out in a second uh, but this smaller box here should hopefully have all of the um, components that we're after. And there's, a, there's another box over there with a, another box on top of it. I'm not too sure what's, what's inside that, but we'll get that going in a second. But here we go. As I said, I'm not used to this stuff. I should probably sit down. I don't know if I can... I don't know if I've been in the camera shop at all. But we'll continue on. I feel like Casey needs that doing like mail time. Okay, what do we have here? Let's start with the motherboard. Horus um, AX370 Gaming 5. Pretty pretty beast gaming motherboard. Um, so yeah, pretty solid. Um, again, I'm not a tech reviewer. I don't <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Cool. Let's go to, um, okay, let's see how much space I've got. Let's put this over to the side. You've got the Ryzen 7 1800X. Um, this is the beast that is going to be powering the whole thing. And uh, this is going to make my life a whole lot easier when it comes to rendering and uh, editing. So, can't wait for that. In here, I have no idea what that is. So, let's open it up and see what's going on. Okay, we have the hard drive. Seagate, uh, two terabyte, pretty standard stuff really. Um, this is basically the backup hard drive and this is um, gonna be storing like all of my video files once they are um, fully rendered. I'm hoping, let's, let's see if we can find the other one. Yeah, here it is. This is the main um, hard drive that I'll be using. This is an SSD, not, uh, Samsung 960 Evo. Uh, one terabyte, this has got the M M2 socket. So I, I hear that this is ridiculously fast. This this puts regular SSDs to shame. And it was one terabyte. So actually <laughs> literally broke broke the bank just getting this thing. It, it was outrageous. But it should really help with rendering and um, just boot up time that's gonna be um, completely different. I've never seen an SSD. I've never had an SSD in my uh, PC builds before. Windows 10. Pretty standard, can't get Windows 7 no more. I hear this is the next best thing. Next up, we have the, uh, we have RAM. 32 gigabytes, two by 16 gig. Um, and yeah, this is, uh, because we're doing like a, a YouTuber, uh, gaming and editing kind of build, you need a lot of RAM. So this should help, hopefully uh, help with that. It's um, G-Skill Flare X. Um, and designed for AMD Ryzen platforms, so should be pretty sick. Next up, we are going to get the cooler out, going with liquid cooling. Um, in the past, I've only gone with like um, fan, fans. This is a Be Quiet Silent Loop, 244 millimeter, I mean 240 millimeter uh, fans there. Uh, was going to go with the NZXT, what was it? I can't even remember now. I was going to go with the NZXT Kraken X52 
But um, two reasons why I didn't get that. Uh, one, it wasn't in stock, and two, um, it wasn't compatible with an AM4 um, CPU socket. I, I could have got the bracket, but I, uh, I don't know where I could have got it from. Um, things seem to be a little bit limited here in Australia. We've got a spare Corsair fan, SP120. Um, this may give you a, clear, uh, a hint as to which case I'm going to be running. Um, so we'll get to that later. It's RGB, so you can have a, a light up, colour, whatever you want. And that's going to be my exhaust fan for my um, case. So, yeah, and it's got a controller as well, so I can control the fan speed and colour and all that thing. TP-Link wireless adapter for Wi-Fi. Yes, I know you can do through an Ethernet cable, but I'm saving that for my Xbox. I kind of need that for my lead racing. Finally, in this box, we have the power supply. Now, this thing is actually the biggest thing in the, in the smaller box. It's a Corsair HX 850i, and um, I believe it's 850 watts platinum rating. 80 plus, and um, yeah, this thing looks absolutely massive. How is this gonna fit? I don't know, but if it does fit, then it's it's gonna be quite efficient for my for my build, and hopefully, uh, future proof me if I want to add anything else into the build. Now that's all the smaller components, I believe. We're gonna open up the big sucker and see what case I'm running. At least some space. We got Big Bertha coming. <laughs> Here she is. It literally does not even fit in the camera. <laughs> it's that fucking big. Okay, let's get this sucker open. Um, again, I don't know what this bigger box is for on the top of it. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, we'll find out. Whatever this is, it's it's really securely stuck on here, I'll tell you that much. <sighs> okay, let's let's lay this sucker down flat, okay? Let's do that without dropping it. It's very heavy. So, let's have a look at this smaller box. Should we? No, we'll leave the smaller box for later. We'll unbox this. I hopefully I haven't spoiled it. Well, the box hasn't spoiled what's inside. I'm actually surprisingly most excited for this. Like out of everything, which um, I'm pretty sure you guys will not be happy about me saying <laughs> most happy about the case. But here we go. Jesus, how am I going to get this out? Okay. I honestly don't know how I'm going to get this out. I really don't. Get that out of the way. Jesus, that is huge. And now, pick up the case again without completely annihilating it. Because it is made of glass. Yes, I said glass. <laughs> so, with that massive hint drops, I think we could probably tell what this case is. Oh no, I don't like the sound of that. Why did I do that? Let's get this off. Voila! This is the gaming case. It is a Corsair 570X, um, tempered glass. Um, through here you can see this is where the fans uh, light up and um, yeah, once we get it powered up and going, it's going to look absolutely sick. But yeah, <laughs> I had a proper workout just trying to get that thing out of the case. That's outrageous. But yeah, that is, that is the PC build. And that's actually like not as daunting as what I thought it was originally going to be. For a size comparison, here's my head. Pretty big. That's even bigger. Great comparison. You could probably see the case a bit better now. Um, I didn't realise there was a, there was an open window behind the camera there, and it was probably um, reflecting a bit of the glass um, back onto you guys, so you probably couldn't see it. But let's open up this smaller box. I have absolutely no idea what is inside. I was originally thinking there was going to be a motherboard in here or something. It was packaged along with the case itself, but no, I was wrong. Ah, how could I forget? I honestly. 
I feel so stupid now. How could I honestly forget the graphics card? Such an idiot, Ben. I feel like I'm just gonna get roasted in the comments now. I forgot the graphics card. But no, here we go. This is the graphics card that is gonna be powering this bad boy. We have an Aorus GeForce GTX 1080, and uh, yeah, this is the bad boy. Not, you know, not the you know absolute high-end, top-end, like best money can buy kind of graphics card, but it's still very, very solid. Um, I previously had a 970. You know, that was that's still pretty fast even to this day. But yeah, I thought since we're going all out, getting a Ryzen 7 PC. Um, may as well get a new graphics card as well. So, you know, this is the entire build. I, <laughs> I've now got to put this thing to, together. Um, I've not built a PC properly before. I put graphics card, cards into my previous PCs. But, uh, yeah, this is going to be tough. I'm either going to have to pay someone to put it in, or I'm going to have to get one of my mates to do it, um, which is what I did last time when I had a PC build. So, yeah, it's not sponsored. Bought it all myself, so... Yeah, it took a, quite a hit to the pocket this one, but um, in the end it's going to be worth it because I can make so many more videos now, PC related, um, do mods, lots of stuff, iRacing, it's going to be absolutely sick. So, I don't know what to do now, should I get everything out? I'm not too sure. Maybe I shouldn't, this, this video is probably going to go on uh, way too long as it is. So, um, just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe to the channel if you're new to see plenty more um, racing game content. That may not be a thing, but yeah, that's what we do here on the TM at Mardu. Sorry about that, my camera died. Um, it always seems to die like 15 minutes into recording randomly, even though I still have three bars of battery. But yeah, like I was saying, racing game content, that's what we do here on the TM at Mardu channel. But um, yeah, really, really excited for this PC build. Hopefully you guys can join me on the journey. Not too sure if I mentioned it earlier, but would you like to see a PC build? Let me know down in the comments. And if you have any uh, constructive criticism for me, um, anything that I should include in this build in the future to future proof it, um, anything that's really missing or anything like that, be sure to let me know. That'd be much appreciated. And um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to see plenty more racing game content. And until the next video, guys, I'll see you next time. Now I've got to clean all this up. Great.